Dr. Brown, someone hacked into the University of East Anglia's email system and posted email exchanges between some scientists. Now, some are using these emails to claim the science is not certain. How would you respond to that? Well, the way I would respond to that is um, even if you accept uh, the skeptic's view of what the emails say, it still doesn't uh, affect in any meaningful way the strength of the existing climate science that humans are uh, are changing the climate through mostly through the release of fossil fuels, uh, coal, petroleum, etc. Uh, that science is based upon multiple different kinds of evidence, all of which confirm each other. There is the physics of climate change. There is the records uh, all around the world of weather's changing as the models predict. The ice is melting faster. Uh, the amount of ice that you have in the wintertime is getting less around the world. Glaciers are melting. Uh, birds and uh, animals are having to migrate. Uh, there, is, there are many, many lines of evidence on which the consensus is viewed. What is being reported in the press is that if, if you take the skeptics view correctly, there's a little bit uh, less certainty about one or two, the, the tree rain data, for instance. But the consensus view is in no way uh, built upon one line of evidence. It's, both, it's built upon many, many lines of evidence, which have uh, led the world's best scientists all around the world to say that, that hum humans are causing climate change and that there's an urgency about the degree of change that if we don't act quickly, uh, very rapid climate change is in fact uh, very likely in ways that could harm people all around the world. So the emails, even if you accept them, uh, will not undermine the, the consensus view uh, because that consensus view is actually based upon multiple lines of evidence.